Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on OSPF. Let's start our part 2. So the next packet that we look at is the database description. So it contains brief information about the local link state database, your LSDB, and synchronize the LSDB on the two device. So when I come back to this whiteboard here, so let me just use back the same example. So just now from the down state, down state, they go to the init state, init state. So under the init state, they will send a hello. After the hello packet match, then they were going to form the peering, the neighbor. Then in OSPF is the state we call as a two-way state. A two-way state. Two-way state, it means that they are formed the peer already. They know who is their neighbor, what is the information. And from the two-way, they'll go to the X start X start stage under the X start stage they will search send the DD packet the database descriptions and they go to the exchange exchange they will send the DD as well and they go to the looting to looting stage they will send the LSR LSU and up to a full stage they send each other the LS SCK. So these are the five different packets they're going to send to each other between the two different routers. So first you send hello, database description, link state request, link state update, and link state acknowledgement. So these are the five different packets. Later on I will go to more detail on the DD, LS. P, LSR, LSU and also the LSA packet. So right now I just briefly to go through what it mean by the LSR packet. LSR means that they request the re they request the required LSA from the neighbor. LSA LSR packet are sent only after the DD packet exchange successfully. And the LSU packet if we send the required LSA to the neighbor and LSA is just a acknowledgement that we receive the LSA. So the database description is very important to show that what type of LSA you already learned or you want to request from the neighbor is all depend on your DD packet. Okay. So after on the packet type, let's have a look. These are the five different packet type that we're going to exchange our LSA. So always remember Hello, peering. DD packet, LSR, LSU, and LSA is exchanging the. So one, two, three, and four is exchanging the LSA. So in this case, you see that over here for the OSPF concept. They have two different types of the relationship. The first relationship is to form the peering, and the second relationship is form the agency. They exchange the LSA. So remember, in OSBF, they're having two different relationship. They have a peering, and also they have the agency. Okay, let's have a look. Right now, we're doing the lab. Right now over here in the screen they have three routers R1, R2 and R3. 
So for router 1 and router 3 is already pre-configured as display IP in the face brief. You see that over here, the IP address 10.12.11, 1.1.1, and also on the OSPF already advertised or the IP address. Same as R3 as well. On display CC OSPF and display IP in the face brief. So all this information is already pre-configured. So right now I will show you that we're doing the wire shard between the G001 on AR2 and G002 on the AR2. So we do the capture data G001 and capture data G002. As right now you will see that over here they should receive the hello packet sending from 10.12.1.1 when I expand on the open shutters path first the hello packet and the header you will see that over here what is the source router OSPF which area they belong to authentication type and the network mask and also the very important the hello interval as a 10 second all right right now i'm going to configure it on the ar2 so i define the ospf area 0 network 2.2.2 network 10.12.1.0 and Area 1 network 10.23.1.0. So you will see that when you go back to the wire shard, you see that over here they have an init, a two way X start, X change, loading, and up to the full state. So when you refer back to the configuration on the wire shard, you see that first they will send the hello on the initial part then they will send the database description so on the database description first they're going to send based on the let, let look at the OSPF database description so on the DP description you still remember that we have an initial bit a more bit and the master and slave bit so let's check carefully right now the DD sequence is 5667 from 10.12.1.2 sent to 10.12.1.1 and from 10.12.1.1 sent to 10.12.1.2 is a 5.6.4.5 one is a 5.6.6.7 and the other one is 5.6.4.5 so the first DD packet is for them to select the master or the slave bit so in this case let's have a look over here you see that over here on the 10.12.1.1 the second time they send the DD packet information they follow the sequence as a 5.6.6.7 so it means that they follow the router 2, the 10, 12, 1, 2, 5, 6, 6, 7. I'm using this one. So it means that for the 10.12.1.2, you be the master. So how we know that here are the master, we can easily con check on the configuration. Display OSBF peer. You see that over here, the mood. When I connect to 1.1.1, .1 the mood neighbor is slave, means that myself is a master. On AR1, when display OSBF peer, you see that the neighbor is a master. Your neighbor is 2.2.2.2. .2 and let's have a look on the graph. So you see that over here, this is how they send the information between the 10.12.1.1 and 10.12.1.2 first they were sending the hello to the 224.0.0.5 hello sent to 224.0.0.5 and the database description they are sent to the a unicast address so first 10.12.1.2 sent to 10.12.1.1 this is on the X start state and this is on the exchange and start to perform the request the update on the loading so this is on the 12.10.1.2 send the database description and link state update 
request update description update and until the ls acknowledgement so after the ls acknowledgement is done they will keep on sending the hello to perform the keep alive all right this one will be on the basic formation between the two routers between router 1 and also the router 2 okay next they were going to cover use based on the OSPF concept LSA type link state advertisement type so over here that OSPF that we covered on the router LSA type network LSA network summary ASBR summary AS external LSA and also the NSSA LSA so this over here they have a six LSA they're going to cover so we are going to go to detail by one by one from type 1 to type 7 so for the router LSA describe the link status and the link cost of the routers it is generated by every routers and advertised in the areas to which a routers belong and the network LSA is to describe the link state of all the routers on the local network segment and network LSA are generated by the DR, the designated routers, and advertised in the areas to which the DR belong. Let's have a look for these two LSA. So let's take this as example. Right now I have two routers. I have two routers. And these two routers we in the same areas. Area zero. Let's say routers A and a router B. Router A as a DR. When the routers within a single area, they will exchange the LSA type 1. And also for the DR, they will send the LSA type 2. So LSA type 1, every single router will share all the link state information belong to the routers to each other. So whatever I have on router A, I will share it to the router B. And router B will share it back to the router A. And for the LSA type 2, it's only generated by the DR to tell within the single areas who is your designated routers, to tell who is the designated routers it means that it's only the broadcast and MBMA they have a LSA type 2 so it means that it's not every single network type they have the LSA type 2 only a single areas with the broadcast network type and also MBMA they will form the network LSA okay so now go back here so this is the router LSA and the network LSA the third is called the network summary LSA the type 3 the type 3 describe the route to the specific network segment in the areas and network summary LSA are generated by an areas border routers so LSA type 3 is generated by the ABR and advertised in all areas except the totally stub areas and the non stub stubby areas, your NSSA areas. So type 3 is only happen on your ABR. So it means that when you have ABR, you belong to the multi-area topology. So right now, do some changes. Okay, so right now I have one of this two routers and connect to three routers so let me change the color so over here I have uh, area 0 and area 1 so we have two different areas so it means that 
let's say right now I let me name the routers router A router B and router C so router A as a DR let's see router C as a DR let's see so in this case in the area 0 I will exchange the LSA type 1 Router B and Router C within the area 1, they also will exchange LSA type 1. And also, still remember that we have LSA type 2, it's only sent by the DR. LSA type 2, LSA type 2. So, these are the two LSA type they will send within a single area, area 0 and the area 1. So how about the area 1 or area 0 they're going to intercommunicate they need to exchange through the ABR routers using the LSA type 3. So for the LSA type 3, LSA type 3 let me use another color. So, on the type 3, what will happen over here? When all the LSA type 1 hit to the ABR, ABR, they will go into translate, translate, translate to LSA type 3, LSA type 3 to another areas. So, to the LSA type 3 is called as a summary net LSA is to summarize what I have inside the area 0 I give it to area 1 and what I have in area 1 I give it back to the area 0 so it means that inside your LSDB when you look at they have LSA type 3 it means it's come from other areas LSA type 1 and type 2 come from the same areas so these are the difference between the LSA type 1 2 and 3 again let me do some summarization LSA type 1 Type 1 will be every single router will send the type 1. Every single router will send the type 1. Type 2, only DR will send the type 2. DR will send the type 2. And the type 3 is generated by the ABR routers. The ABR routers will generate the LSA type 2 to another single area. So this one we call as a LSA type 3 okay this is LSA type 3 all right thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe to our channel